Hi Taurus, it's Athena and welcome back to my channel. I am getting ready now to do your May 2020 reading for Taurus Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. Okay, um, the song that I heard before uh, getting started and meditating for everyone, the collective is Give Me Love by George Harrison. An old song, but yet a very good song by the Beatles, right? Well, it's actually, yeah, right? I think. George Harrison's The Beatles. Give Me Love. That's that's the song. All right. Let's get started with Taurus. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. This is going to be a quicker reading, but very, let's just get the messages out there that are clear, precise for the beautiful Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Okay? For May 2020, May 2020 for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Perfect. You got money on your mind, Taurus. I love it. All right. Let's see what we got for the beautiful Taurus. Peace of mind. Love it. We are wanting peace of mind. The Palace of Swords is all about the peace that you and the freedom that you get when you have peace of mind. You've been through a rebirth. You've been through the worst. The worst is over. Whatever has ended has ended and now you are at peace. Love it. I love it. That's really good, Taurus. A new beginning. And may, may I add a new passionate beginning. All right, so you have, you're having some dreams. You've been through a, you have been through grief. We have the, the death card is reversed. So the worst is over. Now you're ready to start with a peace of mind, a new beginning, brand spanking new, passionate new beginning, mind you. You may be dreaming or have been dreaming of the other side. Uh, loved ones from the other side might have been coming through for you. Um, an idea might come through to you to do something different, to start something new, but it's a brand new beginning for you. As you can see, the volcano in the back there is the worst is over. What's ended has ended, and now you can move forward with a new, a new beginning. Here you go. Taurus, it's time for a new beginning. I mean, come on. And it's passionate. It's a passionate new beginning that is going to stabilize you. Oh, wow. Look at this, Taurus. <laughs> I love it. Are you kidding me? Look at this. Holy crap. Had to, re had to redo that. Um, oh, my God. You have the Ace of Wands and the Ace of Cups. And in the middle of this brand new spanking love, you have new love coming in or a huge love that you have just resolved yourself to deal with after an ending of something else. So with one, right, with one ending, a new beginning. And it's very passionate, starting over, loving it. I love it, starting over. Taurus, you guys are starting over. Look at that. You have been driven, you are being driven by the universe to move forward in this in this relationship, this new love. It could be a brand new love of work, a business, but I'm, I'm feeling like this is a new love. This is a new love that you are spiritual, spirit is driving you right to this new beginning. You are being guided for sure. The chariot is let's do it. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready for the real thing, right? Isn't everyone? Taurus, you're getting the real thing, the real deal. I love it. Let's look at the bottom of the deck. Yeah. Independent, Taurus. Much growth. Financial independence. Hello. You're sitting pretty and your peace of mind. Here's the dove. The dove brings peace of mind and there you have it. So from the beginning card to the bottom of the deck you are receiving you are receiving a new a whole new life that is passionate driven 
driven, very driven, very happy, abundant, starting over, right? Oh, here we go. <laughs> There's your love. <laughs> All right, Taurus, you've got a new love in here that's big. This is a huge love, you guys. An air, uh, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, potentially, for you guys, Taurus. Yeah. All right, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. You guys are rolling. Look it. Hello. Look at that. The wheel is turning in your favor. A new love. It's passionate. It's driven. It's abundance. Wow. All right. I also have, and I'm going to have to pull this because I see her here staring. So here we have an Aries Leo Sag, Gemini Libra Aquarius, and then we have the forgiveness card. So this, whatever ending happened, it brought you to this place. So it either, okay, so Taurus, it either could have been an Aries Leo Sag or a Gemini Libra Aquarius that you ended something with. You had to forgive in order to move on, right? Or someone, or vice versa, okay? And it's led you to this abundant you, right? Being back, like, in charge of your life, right? You're in charge of your life, for sure. Look, you're really in charge of your life, your direction, what you want in love, and where you're going. And you're being guided by the universe to do so. Beautiful. Let's get a couple of the John Holland Oracle deck just to see what else the universe would like to share with us for May, for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Taurus, this is really beautiful. You've had, you've had some grief, but you just came out of it and you're looking like you got everything you wanted after this ending. You're getting everything you've ever wanted. Solar plexus meaning focusing on your, um, you know, your gut, going with your gut, right? Going with your gut and being happy doing so. Um, it's about learning, learning how to trust your gut instincts also so you really did figure it out and this is a three so it could have been someone had to go in order for you to start new okay like you can't have three people in the situation and you were scared okay so this is not this is where this is how, how you got to this point of here this independent you all right this is how you rose up to the occasion you got out of your fears. You stood up for yourself. You had, you wanted, all you wanted was peace of mind right here. Yellow is peace. And you had, you did have clear hopes for your future with, with a focus point on what you're feeling, right? Not so much what you're thinking. You just wanted peace of mind. So you just, you know, you had to go through an ending in order to get that, right? And now you're paired up, right, from three to two. It says three, but you can see there's only two, one hand holding the other. So the other person is gone. So if there was a third party, you were scared of how it was going to turn out. But the universe said, don't be scared, we got gotcha. you. And spiritually, you were driven to let, you had to let go of one relationship in order to receive another one. And you were obsessively thinking about, how am I going to end this? How is it going to go down? You know. Yeah. And see, three and three is six. Yeah. So now you're balanced. Now you've gotten your balance back. And here's the balance. See? It's perfect. It's perfect. And everything is perfect. Bottom of the deck, let's say. Yeah. So you, you have rewritten a new chapter. You turn the page, Taurus. You have turned the page after this ending. 
you've turned the page and you're ready for this. You're ready to be with someone who holds like all of, who has, who checks off all the boxes. And literally checks off all the boxes. Are you kidding? Right? This paired with this is someone who definitely checks off all the boxes. Look, for a new beginning and balances your life, stabilizes you, keeps you going, keeps you happy, keeps you moving, keeps you driven. You know, when you're in love, I mean, it's there's nothing better, right? Like everything looks better, everything tastes better, everything feels better. So, I love it. I love it, Taurus. <laughs> you guys are, you guys got a really good reading. All right. So you guys aren't worried about anything here. You're looking great. You're looking great. Okay. You're doing what you want. You're with who you want to be with. You're, you're going for the gold, right? You're going for your big happy, happy, happy call to action. So something had, you had to walk your talk, take charge, lead by example, walk your talk. So you had to walk your talk. So there was a time when it was, I think you were a little hesitant about three parties in a situation, three party situation. So the only way that you were going to get your happy place was to walk your talk, right? And now you have a couple here, your happiness. This person could be blonde or you're blonde or vice versa, dark the couple here is blonde, dark and dark or dark and blonde. Well, obviously, right? Someone has, <clears throat> someone has blonde hair and someone has brown hair. Of course, that's very general. Someone is very connected spiritually to <clears throat> what's going on too. It could be you, Taurus. You could be very connected with the other side right now, right? Getting downloads. So you're, you're being definitely being called to action to take care of your life in a way that is going to make you ultimately really happy. All right. Have a great month.